Have you ever been in a situation where forces beyond your control, beyond your imagination, beyond your range try to control you, pull you back or put you down? Most of us are great fans of Game of Thrones. Have you seen this episode of Game of Thrones where Sansa Stark was coerced, persuaded and in a way manipulated constantly to concede, constantly to bend the knee, to accept Daenerys' authority, to work under her? The situation might seem unfair, but she never accepted. She never bent the knee. She remained independent. I do have similar kind of experience in my life. Way back in 2008, when I was doing my computer science of engineering, at the end of the final term, we had to present a project work where we worked hard, put in our heart and soul in it, and prepared for hours and hours to present that project work in front of our professors. But our head of the department didn't like me. So he planned a plot to make sure that I do get lesser marks, to humiliate me, to make my life miserable in front of the college. So what did he do? He gathered all the first year, second year, third year, final year students in the seminar hall. To the dismay of my fellow students and the batchmates, I was the only one who was asked to present my presentation in front of them. While I was about to start my presentation, he said, stop, we know that you must have prepared well, you must have braced for this occasion. Let me give you another challenge. You could pick up any topic from top of your mind, which is not relevant to engineering, which is not relevant to computer science. You need to present that topic in next two minutes. And if I see appreciation from the students, if I see you can connect, you can deliver the speech, deliver the project, explain the concept to my fellow colleagues. If even 10% of these people approve or appreciate, I'm going to give you distinction marks in internal examination. But the guy didn't know I always liked spotlight. I always liked talking to people, explaining new concepts. I was a very average student in my engineering, but I was an avid reader. I have read hundreds and hundreds of articles of different concepts. On the time, I have chosen one article where I have read a concept of big slump or big crunch. This was based on how university is going to meet its end. We were discussing about doomsday. So there were like multiple hypotheses, but I choose one that is where gravitational forces slowly weaken and the rest of the material the cosmos, galaxies, stars, they will head back to the starting point of the Big Bang and they will crumble and the universe is going to end at that point. So it was called as Big Crunch or Big Slump. So I tried to explain the concept using a blackboard. I have delivered the speech almost like 45 to 47 minutes and rest of the people were applauded at the end of my presentation. Adding insult to the injury, what I did, I said, if you have any doubts, please ask me. I am here to give clarification. I am ready to explain the concept once again. That didn't go down well with my professors. At the end of the day, they given me minimal marks. But somehow, I felt great amount of self-confidence, courage, a sense of self-respect, where everybody tried to ruin my career or ruin my day in front of entire college. But I stood my ground. I was happy to prove that what sort of material I was made of. What I want to communicate in this video, we all have gone through such situations and circumstances. We know that if we stick to our values and core belief systems, there is a great possibility of facing the wrath of people around us or the hierarchy or the superiors, but still somehow will not concede to the powers beyond us. If you have full confidence in yourself, if you have self-respect, if you are ready to face the brunt, you could do wonders. Adversity is the greatest guru, greatest teacher, which teaches us how to buckle up, how to show up, how to confront injustice, how to confront challenges of life. I would like to leave you with this message. Until next time, this is Gautam signing off.